kan niet, want ik houd je vriend te koppelen. Je moet lijn aan de kraan, in de huis, achter de bed. Ja, yeah, de shot outside. It's estimated that close to 45 people are killed in South Africa each day. At least 51 people are murdered every single day in South Africa. That's the grim statistic that's been released by the police minister. The country's crime statistics were released in Parliament earlier today. It comes back to the issue of how the matter of a basic infrastructure, for an example, at a community level has got to be factored to assist and enhance uh, policing, uh, policing measures. The Cape Flats, notorious for gang wars and drugs. It has one of the highest murder rates in the world, with Nyanga being number one in the country. In Hanover Park alone, 20 gang fights for territory and yet thousands of people call this place home. It's so very easy to just say 17,805 or 49 murders a day. But you really need to think about that. Think about that number. That could be somebody's brother, sister, father or mother. Hell, it could even be you tomorrow. It was a Monday morning, like around 4 a.m. And I got a call from his girlfriend's little sister. She calls me and she's like, your brother just he's just got shot and stabbed and he's laying there. And I, at that moment, I like I didn't even know what to do because yeah, I'm in a different place. Like I can't even like rush and go and actually try and help him out or whatever. Twenty minutes after, I got a call and he he had been deceased. Um, passed away, that was the story of, of him. I need to know why this is happening at such an alarming rate, like I need to go out there and actually find out like why is why are we killing each other so much? I need to know what happened to my brother. Well look there the a number of factors that contribute to the murder rate being so high in South Africa. First and foremost we've got to contextualize the murder rate. So when we step back in time to be able to do that. South Africa comes from a long history of oppression, racism and apartheid. What happened after the 94 democratic election, there was a crisis in current South Africa at that time. And it was basically the political upheaval and that's when the murder rate really peaked. Yeah, it's a culture, it's accountability, it's, it's a whole range of things that haven't been put on the table per se and actually being tackled on in a, in a more civil manner. Now people are resorting to um, their own means of, of, um, of solving their own injustices that they are experiencing day to day. After several months of trying to deal with my brother's passing and with no form of communication whatsoever from the police regarding his death, I took it upon myself to try and find peace through speaking to a few people and hearing their viewpoints on why this is happening within our community. Through my journey, I met up with the next convict from Beacon Valley, Mitchell's Plain. And in our conversation, I could see in his eyes that he was showing signs of remorse. Like, yeah, I'm giving my consent to make this what documentary like what, ten, eight, mm. and let's go and so, like, like the normal colors, we, we, we became gangsters, you know, not working at home. People are, uh, you know, the gangsters, they take you in, <laughs> like my sushi, yeah. <coughs> then afterwards, uh, you know what's going on with gangsters, like robbing, murdering, mm. killing, smuggling, everything, uh. yeah, and so, 
being a gangs, you always also have rival gangs. So you have enemies in one area. You know you have to stand up for yourself. You can't be scared. You must know gang gangster. If you kill someone, the people are gonna come for you. That time I was a playboy in Tabelse. And the rival gangs were the Wonder Boys. It's in one area. So the Wonder Boys on the towers. Yeah. So we went one night, we went to the yard, like a subpin, on their turf, the Wonder Boys turf. So we did them like smoke patterns, you know, and drink alcohol, consuming alcohol and shooting pool. Alright. So they arrived and they're the enemies. They see us on, on, the, on, on, on the premises, so we, they start to fight. I can show you here. You see this? Can you see this here in front? Yeah, so I was drunk and so on. One guy take a cup of out. No, it's not a normal knife. It's like that, that sickle one, long one. He cut me here to split open. You know, it's like 36 stitches. 18, 18 in front and 18 inside. So the blood was like streaming over my face. What can I do? I take a knife and I just felt where he is. Yeah, then I stay back and I stay in dead. First, it was like I was not drunk and stuff, man. It was like next, it was nothing for me. But if you're alone, like in jail, and you go mang for murder, you see, and then it starts, it starts to, to, to eat in you on your shelf, yeah, your conscious. Then once I come out after what, I did get eight years for that murder. So I did four, I come out. The first thing I did, I went to that guy's family, and they were also giving us and stuff. Okay, they still don't want to forgive you, because even a mother losing a son, it's not nice for them. But look at my face every morning. If I wash my face, and I was looking at the murder, I see the stitches and I think of him. He could have killed me, but but the Lord had plans me, so I did mm. kill him first. But it's just a defense thingy, but yeah, the people, they never forgave me for, 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 for killing some, for someone. And so I thought, hey, it's shaking in the look. Then afterwards, it's just like, when, when, when I come into such a situation, no, it's either me or you. I don't give a fuck. Don't ask for forgiveness, nothing anymore, because if people don't forgive you, but that situation, when you're in, the people don't see it's, it's like either it's your life or, or that guy's life. Otherwise, then fuck it. And I don't worry. Now, how can I, I still be a gangster? It's my stupid. And all, the, all of those murdering cases also, all the cases pile up. You catch anything on now. At the current moment, I'm, I'm out on a five year bail. No? I did get nine years. Also, we're killing the other guy. I shoot him dead. He did shoot me first. He shoot me okay, in my leg. I shot him dead. And so I did mang four years. So I did get nine years. I did mang mang four. And now I am five. Next year will be the last year of that case. Being unemployed is also not helping mm -hmm. because you have to support your kids to be out of your shelf. Oh. It's a lot of stuff, I mean. And it's an everyday color, and I'm the only one. No? There's a lot of other colors here. That's working. That's not working. The same situation, situation I'm in. True. And like nothing is being done by the government or whatever. As I rather say, we don't need, say, well, you have to be, because it's late. But you know, I was, it's, 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 it's kind of hard to get work, man. For how I was like a criminal record. It. It's, it's, especially murder. Yeah, you can't fucking get a job, even as a security. You can't even get a job, just because you got a criminal record. But you, you got other skills also, man. I mean, you know, but the people won't, won't accept you because you got a, a criminal record. It's just sometimes, you know, it's pressure. Like now, you almost see now this guy. You see like such stuff, man, small stuff. Like they, they, they click you. This is well, this one thing that took, and I see my Achilles now, but I wasn't even aiming to kill you. Because why? Just the, 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 the switch. You just switch the light on by me, then I'm going. You see? Because that's why I'm very, I'm very cautious for myself.
Arado um pouco foi assim. Em te praça, meu, mas que sinais, e vou lhe fazer de vez para mim, tá rando que eu vou te dar luz. Tá muito caro, estic minimis, e muito mais que se olham. Mas é que se você se for, você não vai me sentir. Não é lá. Tá suíte, e ela dan. Lá no bordo de tu chuma. E ela quem dá quem dá. E se. Ela tem uma nega ou de. Are you aware of your, yourself in that moment? You no, no, it's like blackout. I mean, fuck, how many people are just killed now? Many people are stabbed now. They see them full of blood, and you are full of blood. What evil? Then I say, okay, go to jail, what happened? Okay, just kill the guy, fuck that guy, okay. You know, go to court, proceed, proceed, the right? To get so many years, there you go. The first time is snowy, but the more you go to jail, the more you feel like a fucking owner though. Because you're not, you're not scared anymore. You see, it's like you're coming home. See, I won't see you now, it's just a little. I can't say, but yeah. But, but you know what, at night, no? Then, all the people that you've hurt and killed and stabbed and so on, like you get flashbacks, that's why. Last of our colors, we like to shoot pipes and stuff, just to get, to get away from that, you know. It's like almost the demons, the haunting, all the fucking people get killed at night. At the time when you were still asleep, you know, try to fucking tell you all the fucking, you just see all the, 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 the thing in that place, all when you eat. And then afterwards, now you go smoke a pipe or whatever, you could take a pipe or whatever, just to, just to break away from that, yeah. That's why the tax is so high in our fucking communities, you know. Yeah. Lately, I fucking don't even have a dream anymore. That they will rob me of my dreams. That's a good thing for me. Or after all the shit I did already, I don't even want a dream. Yeah. That's why the table, they rob me of my dreams. Wow. Yeah. It's a really good thing. <laughs> That's powerful shit, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's the thing she do, man. And you get the robbed of that, it's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> because don't want to dream every time about killing people, what? It's nightmare, man. You know? It's not a blessing, it's a fucking curse. And if, if someone can rob me of my curse, I'm glad. Even it can be the table also, you can take my curse, take it to you, it's all right. Yeah, at least I go sleep every night. You no, know, many of my friends, they can tell me, you know what? I dreamt about this and this and this. What did you dream about? I said, you know, almost like I was a robber at the table of my dreams. Didn't even dream nothing, not even about the dead mother or families that come visit in the, No, like dead pe pe people come visit, no. I don't even get dreams of them. So, I'm glad not any dreams. And at that moment, I could forgive my brother's murderer.